Our world is changing. At no time in history have we been so connected by technology, so empowered by innovation. Many of us are living longer than any generation before, a direct result of better nutrition, sanitation and improving health care. Universal access to medicine is undeniably transforming lives. Yet at the same time, the growth in pharmaceuticals across the world also raises the threat of adverse reaction to drugs. To help protect patients, we must ensure the public are not harmed by the very medicines created to cure them. Today, this watchdog role is being played out in 150 countries by the Uppsala Monitoring Centre and its global partners. Uppsala Monitoring Centre was established 40 years ago to support the World Health Organization network of countries working together for safer use of medicines. UMC is an independent Swedish foundation working closely with WHO. Our purpose is to tackle one of the big questions in human health care. How can we make sure that patients get the maximum benefit from their medicines and suffer the least harm? How can we build global solutions for safer medicines? From day one, our ambition was clear. In collaboration with WHO, to work with partners across the globe to encourage reporting on adverse effects of medicines, to record and understand them, and reduce the risk of their happening again. This is the safety monitoring of medicines, the science known as pharmacovigilance. Yet whilst technology brings the promise of greater reach for the pharmacovigilance movement, it also brings the growth of lawless online markets and the sale of fake medicines. This is particularly true in North Africa, where neighbours are inspiring each other to adopt more robust strategies against the threat of harmful medication and weak regulation. Here, Rashida Suleimani, the director of the Poison Control and Centre of Morocco, is turning to the airwaves to deliver the message that we mustn't take the safety of our medicines for granted. Morocco is geographically and culturally complex. We are a bridge. We are on the cusp of Europe and we stretch down into Africa. The use of medicines has exploded in Africa with 80,000 drugs on the market, but regulation often falls short. Across Africa, the consumers don't often have enough information about the medicines they are taking. The internet adds to the lack of regulation. For example, people in Nigeria can buy medicines from China. So we face enormous challenges across our continent. Pharmacovigilance, it's much more than medicine safety. It's about building trust among the public. It's about people and making them believe in the health system structure from top to bottom. Education is paramount to everything. Knowledge is power. How do we reach nomads in the Sahara? and at the same time be relevant to urban commuters in Casablanca. Well, for a start, we diversify our approach. We work with a network of nurses, doctors and pharmacists across Morocco. This collaboration gives us an opportunity to carry the same messages to millions of people. Here, geographically, is still a challenge, and we must utilize the media successfully. In Morocco, radio is incredibly popular, and the airwaves offer us the opportunity to cross mountains. Even nomads in the deep Sahara carry transistor radios. People all over the country 
listen to radio on their phones. This offers us a direct connection to people. We must look to social media, to connecting with audiences, to use the advantages of technology to reach people who have never heard our message.